Oh, oh, hello. Oh, it's been so long since you've stopped by. Um, thank you for joining me again. Uh, my name is David, and today I wanted to go over IRC and how to get to it using WeChat. So for those that don't know, IRC is a chat client that goes back, you know, at the beginning of the internet. Um, so today a lot of people use Discord or Slack. Uh, so this was way back when, even before stuff like AOL or AIM or anything like that. Uh, so I want to go over that. And today, when I Google it, it says one of the top nine for 2021 in Linux, number one is WeChat. And I am not one to go against Google, so I thought I'd try that out and see how we go. Uh, so to start out with, WeChat, like most uh, applications, you can easily install it using your package manager. In my case, I'm on Pop! OS, so I'm going to be using apt, much like a Debian or Ubuntu. So this should also work for those. And you can just do sudo apt-get WeChat. Or actually, you can just do apt, because this is 2021. Don't look at my password. Um, OK. I actually need to be install WeChat. Um, so one good benefit about WeChat is it's super light and it's super user friendly and you can do pretty much anything you want with it. So after you install WeChat, as I did here through uh, sudo apt install WeChat, all you have to do to get it running is just use WeChat. And what I like about this is the UI is actually in the terminal window. So you don't have to like switch around through different GUIs or anything and I think it just looks really clean and it looks super cool for when you're doing this in an internet cafe and people think you're like hacking the mainframe and everything. But so now we're in WeChat and I'll post I'll make sure to post this. But WeChat has a great user starter guide. It's on their website. I'll link it out, WeChat.org. And there's a good list of popular IRC channels. The um and the most common one I think right now is uh, Libera, Libria, Libria. I should know how to pronounce that, and I don't. Um, but you need a account for one of those, and I just want to do an anonymous one since I'm doing this online and being streamed. So I know of one um, called Freenode. So here at the main channel, you're going to want to add a server. So you're going to need to add a server before you can get to a chat channel. So the way to do that is you can just do slash server, and then if you wanted help, you could type help. Um, or not. Does it just have slash help? Okay, so it's just slash help space server. So this would give you your different server needs, and I want to add one. So I see up here, the word for that is just add. Uh, and here's a good example. They actually reference free node down here, which is awesome because that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do server add free node chat dot free node dot net. And what this is doing is it's telling WeChat that we're going to add a chat server. We're going to nickname it free node. And then the address for free node is going to be chat dot free node dot net. Um, so it already exists, that's because I was in here earlier, but in your case it would say joined free node or something. And then the way I want to connect to that server, so I'm just going to do uh, slash connect in free node, which is the nickname we gave it. Bam. So now we're in free node. Um, we can see here the big list of, this is the message of the day, so it tells you the different channels, how to connect. Um, and it gives you a list of some channels to start out with. And some of these will, you need an identity, uh, which I'll go over later. It's just a nickname and password to make sure it's you. But a lot of these you don't. Or some of them you don't, sorry. <laughs> a lot of them you do. But since we don't have an identity, uh, here it says I'm David, but that's just because that's running off my laptop. I can do something called join. And then here I want to do this free node channel. So I'm just going to do hashtag join free node and bam we're in a free node channel uh, so we can see over here on the right a bunch of people's names um, and then we can talk to or we're currently in uh, if you want to type something you just simply type it um, so you can see here test 
great. Uh, I got overwritten because it's stat, because uh, David is taken, Dretz. I guess this is a popular name or something. But now if we wanted to add a different one, we can see over here that in the title, uh, free node WeChat has a one next to it. So if you want to switch to that, you can just hold Alt-1 and I'll take you back to here. So here we see the other channels. So I can just join uh, Anon Chat. I'm the only person in here, which is great. Um, and then if I wanted to hop back and forth, I would just hit Alt-2 Alt-3, um, Alt-1, and then if I want to add different servers, I could also do it from there. But I don't want to be in free node chat anymore, so I'm just going to hit slash part, which is kind of like disconnecting a channel, because a disconnect would be at the server, and right now we're at the channel level. So I'd just say part, hashtag, free node. And you can see here that I just left the chat channel. Um, and then same way for Anon chat, I would just say part in on chat. If I wanted to leave an entire server, that's when I use the hashtag disconnect and then whatever server I'm connected to. So in this case, Freenode. And that's it. We installed WeChat. Um, we started it up. We accessed Freenode server. And then from there, we accessed two different channels. And then we showed us hopping around between them. And that, my friend, is how you can start using WeChat on your Linux uh, distribution. All right, until next time.